Um, so this is so I wanted to uh, change things up a little bit, right? I've been playing a lot of the same deck lists um, or things very similar, kind of over and over across the months. And while iterating, iterating on similar things is very good uh, for getting good at your deck. Infinity, thanks for the sub. Sixteen months. Um, we've stagnated a little bit as far as you know keeping things fresh and interesting and though i do have a a, a list that i think is pretty decent i had uh kind of a back-to-back four ones with it and fairly uh you know not a ton of meme decks <laughs> in leagues i know it's good like i beat newton i beat tagore as like some good opponents um the uh, the direction I'm going with this is that people who are subscribed to the Patreon on the Warchief tier, so that's the the, the tier with the, the cyber guide, um, they can for about a I forget how long I have the op- the the window open for. I think it was like a week. Um, so at the beginning of each month, people can send me deck lists to play, and I will uh, pick four to put in the poll and then play two of them uh actually no no no, no. i'll i'll well it depends on how many decks i'll have uh submitted i only had two submitted this month the first month kind of understandable um so i'll just be running those two lists uh and i'm also going to make an effort to stream every friday uh so unless i'm like away from my computer or like i'm sick or something like like a genuine reason uh, i'm going to try to stream every single friday and so two of those Fridays will be uh, Warchief submission deck lists, and of the other two will be mine deck lists. And, you know, maybe, so I'll stream at least four times a month, um, maybe sometimes more if I'm feeling particularly interested. Uh, so that's that's the whole idea. So for this month, for this first outing, I wanted to choose something kind of kind of spicy, and so <laughs> friend Olaf came through with a very spicy list. So what we've got here is uh, a sort of niche combo that a lot of people don't know about, which is um, Rakdos Charm. <laughs> so it's two mana instant, choose one of three modes. Exile target player's graveyard, destroy target artifact, or each creature deals one damage to its controller. The funny thing about Rakdos Charm is that it's actually a combo with Goblin Lackey because Goblin Lackey doesn't say when it deals damage to an opponent, it says when it deals damage to a player, you may put a Goblin permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. So... You can Rakdos Charm, choose the third mode, target yourself with a Lackey in play, and trigger your Lackey without having to get past any blockers, uh, which is pretty funny. And uh, Olaf has taken this even further with adding Liquid Metal Torque, which is a mana rock that can turn non-land permanents into artifacts. And so I think the idea is obviously just combine it with your Rakdos Charm. So make that Merktide Regent artifact, Rakdos Charm it. Um, also, I guess a uh, pretty pretty strong combo with Trashmaster, just become vindicate on a stick. Um, and then <laughs> got some funky inclusions in the mana base here. We've got two Gemstone Caverns. Um, I don't really know why he wanted the Gemstone Caverns. I think he's. I also always liked the idea of gemstone caverns in goblins to give you that boost um, when you're on the draw. But we'll see. Um, and then because we've got, you know, we've got, you know, gemstone caverns is only sometimes a color mana source. Um, these lands all don't cast Rakdos Charm, right? Unless you've got Shadow Blood Ridge, which is from this dual cycle from Odyssey, which is um Man, it's 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 a it's a bad it's a bad cycle because this land does not tap for mana by itself. <laughs> so you cannot play this on turn one and make mana with it. Um so pretty dangerous versus wasteland situations, but um I think the idea is that you can tap any of these lands plus uh, Ridge and uh, cast your Rakdos Charm or your Munitions Expert for whatever that's worth. Uh, The rest of the deck is 
fairly normal. Uh, got a Kiki, which is a little spicy, down to one ringleader to fit all of this. Uh, oh yeah, we also got a, a Grim Wanderer. So this card actually I've always been interested in testing, but I haven't gotten around to it, is a one of black 5-3 with Flash Goblin, which is like pretty damn beefy. Um, but you can only cast a spell if a creature has died this turn. So it's good with Prospector, good with War Marshal Echo, good with Crater Maker, um, Sling Gang Trash Master. So I'm curious if it'll get stuck in our hand or if we can actually deploy it reasonably often. Because if we can deploy it reasonably often, this card is actually quite interesting to test in multiples, right? Because 2 mana 5-3 with Flash is like... Pretty sick. All right, I'm going to take a look, um, say goodbye to my constructed rating, and hop in the queue here. <laughs> I think this is a very fun idea that will probably crash and burn. But, you know, I mean, we have main deck graveyard hate, which is kind of cool. So maybe we'll get some, some free wins out of that. Just check a message real quick. All right, let's go. What could go wrong? And to join me on this journey, I've got some Highland Park. <laughs> Which I haven't actually, I haven't had this Highland Park for, it's just the Highland Park 12. Um, I get a lot of chocolate out of the smell. A lot of chocolate. All right, last scene on DNT. On the draw against 80 car deck. I guess Rakdos Charm would be pretty good here. All right, this hand's pretty nice. This torque's a little not great. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully I don't have Solitude here. <clears throat> Cauldra. Nice, no Solitude. I'll end step brainstorm. All right, so pretty good so far. This might be Skyclave. I think a Torque plus a Wisp. That is not a scary Wisp. Sure. Lexus. Okay, War Chief's not bad. Um, I'm going to hold the Wasteland in my hand just in case of. There's a Saga. So we'll go Torque. <laughs> like we'll jump home. Hmm. We have all the mana in the universe. <laughs> yeah, you can exclamation point deck list to see what's going on here. Really awkward that if we draw Rakdos Charm, we can't cast it. <laughs> Very glad they blocked the Lackey and not the Warchief. I 
Okay. That's good. This is probably Solitude here. Oh my god. Flooding. Yeah, they didn't port. Oh, okay. They have sixed. They almost, I bet they just, they meant to cast Solitude there. All right, I'm probably not attacking here unless I draw something. Uh, let's keep that on three. Yeah, just, just, they're just gonna hard cast Cauldron, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so we have two, we have three Rakdos charms in our deck. And so this is a combo, you can make anything an artifact and then destroy it. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> mm hmm All right, we flooded really badly. This is game one. These Liquid Melt Torques have been garbage, and also we still can't cast Rakdos Charm, and it's turn 8, if we were to draw it. So, uh, not looking great. Muxus? Nope. Alright, we'll hold a Black Source in our hand. Are they just, they just get to Yorion everything? Super fucking dead. Tagging with mom there was not ideal. Nice, got him lucky. All right, well, um, <laughs> this is a pretty good illustration of uh, if these were ringleaders. <laughs> We'd probably win this game. All right. Um, oops, not that. <laughs> you don't need no ringleader. Interesting, interesting. Uh, yes, exactly. That That is the idea. The torques are pretty big. Bad. I feel like the Torques are unnecessary in this matchup because we have they like they're just playing a lot of artifacts, right? So we don't need to convert anything to an artifact. The the charm will just be live by itself. Be lucky. All right, a pretty good hand. Really good hand. Bones on six. Yeah, always board out twerk. That that, that sounds about right. <laughs> sounds about right. All right, well, if they don't have a Solitude, we get to Muxus them. Uh, I think I do play around Solitude, though, and I vial in... Like, I make sure I get three Goblins in play first. So 
because otherwise the stone forge wouldn't die. It cost me my violin too, but. Alright. Ba-boom. Oh wow, that was not ideal, but good enough. Cool. <laughs> I've hmm, that's interesting. Flipping the rest of your removal spells into play when there's zero creatures on board is not great. We kinda had the nuts there. Uh yep. But it's on 81 to Metro 61, calculated. <laughs> yeah, we've not drawn our Shadow Blood Ridge yet. Not drawn it yet. Triple Vial. I guess I'm keeping this. This <laughs> deck is so brainless, SMH. Ooh, lucky. Not that we have anything to do with Blackie. Air Mario. Alright, that's not a... Wow, that makes it... It's game, it's game three of round one. We have not done the trick yet. Uh, Do I play around Mother Runes? I really just want to play Mother Vial. Or maybe I'm just supposed to hold up expert. No, I'm not holding up expert. All right, no mom. Uh oh. Put you around in their hand? Okay. Yeah, Lackey is not combat damage, and it's not combat damage to an opponent. It's combat damage to a player, or it's just damage in general to a player. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I think we blow up their vial here. Maybe that's wrong because they can just get another vial. Oh god. Power of fire? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Alright, we need a matron. Uh, I think I'm fine trading Lackey with a Construct. Because Constructs get bigger. I 
They're probably going to needle my vial, and then I'll rank to charm the needle. Doing this to play around the needle. Saga's a little dumb, but like, look at the fact that like they can't cast spells here because it's not a white source. Ooh. Okay. Um. Well, I want to destroy the Shadow Spear. So I think we're going to attack, and then before damage, we... Uh... Unfortunately, we can't freely pay echo if we do that, but that's fine. So I do have Yorion in hand. That's pretty good. Opponent saw saw my Trixie trap. So I could block both the Retrofitter. Or wait for a better target. I think I think I can take three. I guess I would take I would take no, I mean it's whatever. Why playing sixty one a lot of time? Um it's to fit, uh, it's to get high enough ringleader numbers while playing 24 lands and still being able to sideboard properly. Let's go up on everybody. Kiki would be sick here. Sad. All right. Um, yeah, it's going to be a problem. We'll do the block sack thing this turn. Maybe I should have done it last turn. All right, we'll just uh, save save life here. No attacks.
Interesting. Seems like a misclick. <laughs> yeah, this is this is just a bit of a meme. All right, six six four three. Trash master would be very good here. But pretty good too. Please don't be containment priest. Please no. Okay. Wanderer. All right. Ringleader. All right. Matron. Somewhere. Not seen a matron yet. Ooh, hello. Okay, okay. Let's tap like that. We bought into the second Lexus. God damn it, I hate it when that happens. Actually, let's cycle first. Can I kill the Skyclave because of the Eorion? Also, this is we can we can't trash master. We can trash master everything else, but not that. So if I hit a matron off of this. Oh. Wow. That's sicko. All right, we're on the board. <laughs> on the board. <laughs> I mean, we did go 20 cards deep. <laughs> the matron, the matron was the 40th card, the 20th card down. All right, so once again, here's this uh Here's the shit we're doing. <laughs> Notably, this our singleton ringleader <laughs> drew us three cards, three very good cards. What's the weird weird land? Shadow Blood Ridge. Um, it's it it's theoretically to let um colorless lands cast Rakdos Charm. Um, can you tap colorless for Graven Cans? I don't think you can. Because I actually thought the same thing. Yep. Yeah, so it doesn't work with Cavern. Or these fucking gemstones. <laughs> I can't even say Cavern. There are multiple Caverns in this deck. <laughs> Here's Rakdos Charm. <laughs> Lackey off of Cavern into Rakdos Charm, Muxus. But the thing is, if your cavern matters, that means they have a counterspell, in which case they will just counterspell the Rakdos charm. <laughs> it's a little mm, questionable. Or maybe they just don't know what Rakdos charm does, and they just, like, don't counter it. <laughs> I 
Liquid Melt Work is um, a Liquid Melt coating that can't target lands, but it is also a mana rock. Oh, all right. If we draw, if we draw Rakdos. <laughs> Jaw Rakdos charm, don't care about your blockers. Basic Island Ponder, that's generally a good sign. Rakdos charm, please. Please. <laughs> I swear to God, if we 5-0 at this, it'll be the greatest meme. The greatest meme of all time. This could be showing... So, this could be, uh, like, um... So, it's probably not Delver, because most people aren't playing Islands in Delver these days. The control could be... Play a blocker. Play a blocker. Play a blocker. Or wait until <laughs> wait until combat to to removal spell. <laughs> wait until com <laughs> beginning of combat. Use removal spell and then Muxus flip war chief. <laughs> come on, come on. No prismatic ending. No, 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 no. Oh, the dream is dead. Maybe we'll draw another one. We'll draw another lackey. We should have played War Marshal there. Gichite. No, that's the one thing we can't. Why doesn't it say this? Why doesn't it say exile? Man. This was an ancient tomb. Opponent would be absolutely wrecked. Wow. Hey, you respect jump home incinerator. Infinite killing yourself. <laughs> All right, we can Rakdos Charm that one. <laughs> no, we need to tap like that. God. Um.
pretty funny that that actually worked. So we have no answers to the cauldron in our deck. We just have to go over it. We would have won this game on the play, which is kind of sad. Torque was good there for whatever that's worth. Sets us up on mana, plus cast the charm. The combo with the shadow. The combo worked. The combo it was just good deck building. <laughs> Hmm. Snapcaster? What year is my opponent in? Also, why isn't there cauldron play? <laughs> okay, kill the pile driver. Delio. Alright, alright. So I could cast the Kiki here. Get a 1-1 one, one to block with. Have the Kiki in play for the Muxus. If they had a Plow, they would have used Plow, right? Because they would have gone Cauldra plus Plow. So I think I just play Kiki. Can't prismatic ending this. <laughs> wow, that was the most gigantic punish ever. Punnett still has not put their cauldron in play. All right. All right, I'll take four instead of five. All right, Muxus. Land for Muxus. Let's go. Let's go. Land. Ugh. Big time bummer. Uh... No, oh, come on. <sighs> I am so sad right now. Trolling me deck. Uh, tapping this thing on Moto is awful. Uh...
Uh, maybe I'm supposed to kill the Snapcaster because they can pick it up. Well, kind of goes the other way. Land? Okay. Just want all my goblins in play, basically, for sling gang reasons. Okay, also playing around second Snapcaster Mage, obviously. Just don't have natural GTA, please. Oh, that's gross. Gross. No shuffle. Terrifying. Back to basics, probably. Jace, okay. I'm actually fine with Jace. Let's just mux us and flip three munitions experts. I know, I know. If the Rectostorm tr trick worked with Born Instigator, it'd be so much cooler. Ah, that's not good enough. And we can block for a turn. I only have one sling game in my deck. Uh... <laughs> So basically, I just need the next Muxus flip to be lethal somehow. So... Prospector... Yeah, yeah, Prospector. Fairy matter. Kind of does because they can pick up Stoneforge and get Jitae. Also, gaining life is relevant. Volcanic. Oh, I did not mean to split. I did not mean to split that at all. That was a mistake. That was just a misclick. Mm. 
All right. Kevin Teferi also plays around, like, you don't have to worry about instant speed to prismatic endings. Uh, so this leaves me dead. I have to block here. Did the plow. If I had a mass band on my deck, I could actually like straight up win. So if we hit um War Chiefs. Like double War Chief, maybe. Like War Chief Slang Gang, maybe. Love to cast Prospector first, but I cannot afford to do that. Trash man. That's not bad. Can I kill them with Pashalik? Pashalik Skirk, I mean. Plus Trash Master on my own Torque, theoretically. Or the Cauldre, I guess. Wanderer? I wonder. No, I think I think it's slinging. We're very close to winning. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I was thinking about that. I was just thinking, like, if they count, if they counter the prospector, you just lose. Okay. We are so close to winning this game. 
Because <laughs> my opponent didn't put their cauldron in play, like, for four turns. I think my opponent thought that they had lethal that one turn, that they swung all out. Didn't realize I could live at one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So theoretically, well, we have the block. They might not attack. Kind of sucks that we we kind of we have to overblock this Caldra to play around Plow and the Lord. They shuffled on Ponder. Okay. Okay. Wow, they scooped. <laughs> we won. All right, all right. The Ractus charm blowing up the pot, the batter skull was really good. All right, needle will be very good. Blasts will be very good. Again, the Ractus charms already have targets, like even hoses Snapcaster a little bit. So, I mean, Torque Torque was good that game, for whatever that's worth. Yes, I I was I was gonna trash master the the thing EOT, the cauldra, even though it doesn't do anything, just to keep the war marshal from being summoning sick. Uh I'm not sure this is very good in this matchup. Like they've all exile and bounce. My my own stuff does die, but I'm a little worried about enabling this. Plus I guess five three does attack through Stoneforge and Snappy. Just something. I could also see an argument for a Pyrokinesis on the draw. Like containment priest and such. Incinerator. I don't know, they have snapcasters. I mean, you can incinerate a Stoneforge in the mid game, just not on turn two. Um, and they also contain a priest. I think I think you want to keep your incinerators. Shadow Spear in the deck so I can kill Caldra. Genius. This should be yeah. This should be an Ur Urza Saga deck. Uh, she have a couple lackeys. Don't we'll worry about Kiki here. Yeah, I mean. I don't necessarily want to always Pyroblast Snapcaster is uh like because I might want to save it for uh, the biggest card I'm worried about is back to basics honestly I think I'm gonna cut the Wanderer no Pyro that's no Pyro hmm Like, I'll only blast a Snapcaster if it's, like, winning them the combat, basically. I'll probably only blast back to basics, turn him, and Planeswalkers otherwise. And it's just a little bit too slow, unfortunately. Yeah, it's so it's very on the draw, exactly. If you draw a one mana goblin, it's good. If you draw Vile, it's okay. Is that even right? Yeah, it's probably right. We were so close to the game to the turn two Moxus. <laughs> opponent just had to ruin ruin everything with prismatic ending.
If they turn to Stoneforge, we're going to be in trouble. Once we draw, I mean, we do have Needle. So I think I'm probably going to sequence Ridge. Oh, nice. No turn two stone four. Just very nice for me. Probably Ridge Pile Driver. So I can play Wasteland Cavern. I don't actually care if the Pile Driver gets countered. I'm going to save the Cavern. Tundra, hopefully. No. Might be TNN. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, so that, that's part of why I played the Shadow Blood Ridge, is that this is the worst land, so if this gets back to basics, that's less crushing. Do four blasts. Tony, we are one zero, when we're up a game against Dunblade with this uh, this thing. Don't play Jace. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's it's to make the idea is to make a uh, colorless lands like Cavern and Wasteland be able to cast Charm. Last. Oh man. Now I have to choose Jace or like I can't <laughs> it's bad either way probably gets countered but Yeah, I could play around Blue Metal Blast if I wanted to. All right, cool. Um, I could wasteline the fetch, and then grab in response, but I'm just not. Until I see Blue on Mental Blast, I'm not really willing to do that. All right, double Prismatic Ending, Force Jace, Back to Basics is a pretty strong hand. I guess Lackey would have been good this game just as a no it was Force of Will it wasn't Force Negation
I agree. Back to basics is very rude. My opponent's like very down on time, so it's possible that we get to time them out game three. Stumbly shouldn't have a problem with an eight minute game, but I mean, they'll probably, unless they find a threat here. Okay, that's not a threat. I think instant speed is a huge deal. Uh, I think... Or do I just force them to use the Teferi to unlock the Jace? I think I use... I think I just make them use Teferi. I'm fine recasting. And I could ringleader here. And hit the Teferi so that it dies. Then it kills all of my mana. Bomberman? Why would Bomberman have to be so good? Everyone's playing Meltdown, so... I think I'm honestly just sitting here until I draw Muxus and just, like, hope that it takes too long. Oh, eight. Bomberman doesn't play Reb. You're thinking of Painter. And Painter is good right now. I guess that just gives him an extra card. Hey, yeah, that was stupid. Just named Jade, named Teferi. Yeah. I don't know. Because then I can just like replay the needle, so it's like kind of whatever. All right, they found the clock, like a needle stone forge. I think this deck should play Basic Swamp. I think we're just sitting here until we draw Muxus. Yeah, if I if one of these lands was another mountain, I'd get to Rakdos Charm that, eat the graveyard. I probably have another back to basics at this point, but all right, we hit Moxus. Mm-hmm. I 
All right, that's info right there. All right. Let's, I'll make them kill me. Again, they are down eight minutes. Uh, Torque is kind of a card against Back to Basics. I'll leave one in. Just more non dual land <laughs> mana sources. I guess, oh, Jefferson Caverns is just like strictly worse than Caracas on the play. Just actually strictly worse. Uh, don't really want to go to 22 lands. Oh, with two torque. Okay. Can't see that. And then kind of not feeling the Kiki versus all the snap plow stuff. Sure, twenty five creatures. God, that's bad. Oh no! <laughs> Why aren't you a land? Oh God. His hands are so bad against uh, ending into Stoneforge, but. Okay. If you draw a land, that's totally fine. Oh, I cut a fucking wasteland. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Land, 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 land. All right. Calder kills you very quickly. Shit. <laughs> Alright. Well. Warchief can race. Okay. Plow. Really? All right. That's our only sling gang. That's a problem. Hopefully, get the pyro blast in this turn. It's very tempting to blast that ponder. TBH.
Oh man. Uh Man, if we had a second sling gang in our deck, I think we would win just like right now. But considering that we don't, what's the line? If one card in hand. Might just be Pile Driver. Pile Driver forces a chump block. We hit them for five, but down to four. Hey Dan, thanks for the 19 months, dude. We get to hold up Blast for a Snapcaster. And then I have to top deck something. Okay. Winning the race. A little mental blast does not get them out of this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Sick jacket, yeah, it is very cozy, very good for the winter. How did I gain life? Um, plows. Also, they plowed uh, Sling Gang. Gain one. They came would have been much harder if they just plowed the War Chief directly. People should just kill War Chief like every time, basically. Especially in like a tempo situation like that, where it's like the game is set to we're two zero so far. All right, this is like a normal hand of magic cards. Almost want to lead on wastelands because I might want to double wasteland and also bluff death and taxes, but. Sam was vaguely familiar to me. Okay. Elves? That'd be a weird elf start. No one drop. Green white depths. Maverick. Maverick. Okay. Oh, then I'll land. They whiffed on a once upon a time. Boo. I'll have to draw an expert or a jump palm here. Just it's just that easy. <laughs> uh play the wasteland so that they can't um just fetch Arbor. Wow, 
Wow, this is this is a really good matchup for uh, Rakdos Charm, actually. Okay, I think to waste my waste. Play two drop. That's really annoying. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Yeah, this is definitely a matchup for it to be better than Pile Driver. Uh... I'm a little scared of them playing Knight next turn. But they have missed land drops for multiple turns. Like, I know they don't have a land in hand. They don't have to wasteland them here. I think I get expert. And then I'll leave violent three, expert the oof, violent matron, get Muxus. Cast Muxus. Green Sun for Arbor. They should be dead here now, actually. Just get to wasteland the arbor, kill you, connect with Lackey. Nice. So yeah, Dan, the the idea is that this can tap colorless lands for black red, so you can cast uh the Rectus Charm. So Maverick. Power driver's bad. Charm is gonna be good, right? Exile graveyards for knights. I guess. You know what? I guess I don't need Soul Guide Lantern. Charm's just better. For the most part. Let's bring in two needles. Or moms and knights and stone forges. I don't know if I actually want two needles. I'll just do that. I think three charms is excessive. Torque should be okay. Mana ramp against Maverick can't be that bad. On the draws, the gemstones are fine. Caracas could be okay. Questing Beast is pretty common in Maverick. Kind of okay going up a land in general. Yeah, this deck is fairly nuts. We're 2 0 somehow. <laughs> We've beaten Yorion DT and uh, uh, Blue White Stoneblade. It's very it was a it was a clencher. I've not alright, so we we had the whole combo against Stoneblade and they played Prismatic ending, and I was so sad. So sad. Alright, let's let's try this. Ugh. <laughs> wow, this hand be a slammer with singular land. Okay, this is not bad. Let's play Apex Second Wasteland. Pyrokinesis is so good against Maverick. I guess Mother Vrins would be kind of a problem. Okay, that's not Mother Vrins. 
Arc. That's not bad. So we're probably pitching War Marshal, I guess. Waste my waste, sure. Natural hoof, yep. Hmm. Mods. Can you ban the bot? I think I can Isis now. But maybe not. If they play a knight, it'll be a 4-4. Four, four, maybe a 5-5, five, five, which would be a pretty big problem. It's a hobgoblin. That's why it's so big. I think finding over the mana is good here. They just wastelanded me. Nice. I mean, we could have gotten... Maybe more value out of our thesis, but... Let's kill the Stone Forge. Matron's nice. As long as our vowel keeps going up, we're going to be fine. Uh oh. Okay. Nothing I can get here. That's a problem. Punished for uh, using the kinesis the way I did then. Yeah, Pashalik. I mean, if they have plow, they kind of just have plow. No plow. All right. Still alive. That Sylvan Library is a huge problem, though. Shit. 
Oh, I meant to respond to the vial trigger. Okay, I mean, not punished, I guess. Sun. You have a second collector roof. Got to be ooze, right? I mean, I have to do this anyway, so. Ah, uh, that's way worse for me. <laughs> totally forgot about this card. I mean, we kept a two-lander with a vial and then didn't draw a third land until turn eight, so. I could have sat on the, the Pyrokinesis. Maybe I was supposed to. Okay, go to six. Another Engineer. Batter skull in your dick. I guess we saw Stoneforge, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. We can't even like kill the batter skull because of the thing. All right, let's go more lackeys on the play. Albert Cage, uh, not against Maverick, I think. Um, I think Muxus is more important than GSC is, but that's not always the case. Like the Yorin, like McWinsauce's deck, I bring in uh, the like the four color thing because that deck is eighty cards and like it relies on Green Sun for consistency to some degree because that's a lower density of cantrips or good cantrips. Um, whereas I think Boxus is just like really good in this matchup. No, not two needles, and then Twenty four lands plus two torques might be too much. Actually, you know, torque torque probably is better than gemstone caverns. I guess I get hosed by Oof, huh? Hmm. All right, I guess. Sounds really awkward for so many reasons. Maybe we can file this in, so. OK. 
Okay. Goblin Sarah Avenger, yeah. <laughs> All right, we need to draw a red card pretty quick. Green sun. Oof. It's actually fine. Assuming we draw thing. Okay, that works. Now again, the question, do I send them back to the Stone Age? This is like the exact same situation. Wipe them out. It is a quick clock. I'm just kind of worried about Stone Forge. Oh, this is all creatures. I didn't quite realize that. Yeah. No, it's like place dump for here. Or that. I mean, they take five. Strong matron. Another wasteland wouldn't be bad. Oh, no land, huh? It's a vodka? No, it is scotch. We have three fours in our deck. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, gain six, I guess. And the Lord not getting plowed is relevant in case they have engineer. Okay. Expert, matron, ringleader. Trade with the ooze. I probably won't. Oh, because this is going to flip. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's something. This is this sees more play. Um. Awkward. God, ringleader would have been so sick this this turn. I mean, any castable spell would be good. I 
That's not AFR. What's AFR? It is. It's that simple. All right, goodbye, Vial. What? Oh, that's bad. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> oh, we're dead. True Kiki Jiki. Kind of the problem with uh mm. kind of the problem with um you know playing the one of's like a cradle. Oh, it's e like. Oh, oh, okay. You have a questing beast in your hand. Sure. Uh. Yeah, they need it. All right, GG, GG, GG. We had, a, we had a number of turns there where we were really live and we just didn't hit, but and this deck is not exactly gonna be consistent with how it's built. It was just like, not enough resources, right? We had our one goblin hit him for five and then got plowed. I mean, it's not bad. It's like the Grim Wanderer was good there. Like, definitely good. Um. Which is kind of cool. It's kind of weird that we're playing all these Rakdos charms, but we're not maxed up on Muxus. Like, I feel like Muxus would be way better than Kiki Jiki. Third Muxus would be better than Kiki. Kiki seems really bad in this list, actually. Like we're don't we don't have a bunch of ringleaders. Uh, we have fewer like just fewer ETB things in general. We only have one Sling Gang. This is only one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not very good. I mean, you can, I mean, Kiki on Pile Driver is like good, so that's something. Dress Down. There aren't that many decks main decking Dress Down right now, I think. Can the play sometime? All right, combo. Partially assembled, we're missing a black source. We're missing Muxus, but. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, I think probably Mountain Lackey here. All right, combo assembled. Uh, I could play the Vile into a Daze. I'm just supposed to do that. High stop sideline.
force pitch stifle. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Not the stifle sickos. I guess Rakdos charming their graveyard can delay Murktide. No shuffle. Ugh. But then I just like to do it on turn two into a daze. Interesting. If this was an actual red source, I could double lackey this turn. That would be very good. I think I am wastelanding because of um, iteration. Okay. Mm hmm. Wasteland, wasteland, wasteland. Tapping like this to play around days. I'm gonna pass a charm right now. Nah, that can't be right. Because if, if I if I if I just like cast it off mountain and then they dazed me, I just wouldn't be able to pay for it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Thank God for wasteland, I guess. You have two cards. This game seems winnable. Land. That's a good one. Oh, they have stifle in the deck. They have stifle in the deck. Okay. <laughs> Pass. Pass. Turn five. <laughs> Two permanents in play. <laughs> oh, we're so good at magic. We're so good at magic. Gut shot. Uh, yeah, keep. Kiki's absolutely terrible, but it's good enough. All right, all right, got game one. Got game one, that's pretty big. Uh, Caracas, skill game indeed. Uh, yeah, totally outskilled them. <laughs> I almost wanna just take this as an opportunity to 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 
board in Leyline. Yeah, lay on against Mark Titan. Modern. I haven't. I don't know. Adley says it's good. I don't know if I agree with him. Um, his torques seem really, just this seems really bad. Just did this. I mean, the charms aren't like objectively terrible, but um. Lexus, can you mac this charm for me? I know. <laughs> the Wanderer should be all right here. What does Stifle do in terms of changing how I want to play this? I just don't want any Muxuses against the Stifle version, huh? Yeah. So his hand's okay. Got a Caracas for Ragavan. Soul Guide. It's just like Stifle Wasteland is like the worst thing ever, but Oh. Don't have a Pyroblast, which is a problem. I'm gonna try it. Okay, Mountain. All right, I'm extremely happy with that daze, honestly. All right, um, that was a good draw. Ooh, I should have played the Crocus. Uh, that's all right. All right, might put back stifles here. Now this is the part of the game where I really dislike Soul Guide Lantern. So I really want a cantrip. Like I would love to just cycle this. But 
then I like definitely die to Merc Tide, so not allowed to. I don't have to pop the Crater Maker because they might not flip the Delver, right? I cast the Delver after fetching. Flip to Ponder. Yeah, stuff is the risk of waiting, but I drew the second Crater Maker, and I kind of want to time my Crater Maker with the Wanderer. Also don't want to do it right now because then they could uh, dash Ragavan. This way I get to block. So I will take this three. It's pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to play Caracas and hold the cavern. All right. That was a pretty good exchange. That's a good draw. What? <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna stifle the trigger. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh no, they didn't, thank god. Alright. That sucks, but... Jesus Christ, you fury in your Delver deck? Still nothing. I need to save this critter maker for DRC, so I'm just gonna hold it. Also, I don't I just like don't want to cast spells because of Murktide. Ugh, it's like the most gigantic punish ever, but okay. Leyline would be good here, actually. We could just hard cast a Leyline. Wow. Fury. Ugh, 
so obnoxious. Uh, don't think playing the creator maker does anything. It just makes the Murktide bigger. Six cards in hand, I'm super dead. Didn't draw a single blast yet. No, that's not it. Make iteration worse, I guess. I can like technically kill the Murktide, but that's just not a winning play. <laughs> they have green in their deck. <laughs> that's news. Can't believe I got furied. <laughs> Okay, there's a double bolt. Cool. Triple bolt. <laughs> of course, draw major next turn. Uh. Wow, that's toxic. Um. Why is green in their deck? Maybe I want Rakdos Charm. Fury's so scary. <laughs> okay. Kind of a mulligan to five, but shuts off a lot of cards in their deck. And we can do some stuff. And we can't draw a Leyline. So, <laughs> all good top decks. <laughs> Very good draw. How much did it cost? What, the whitelist? <laughs> MTGO premium? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I should have played the Shadow Blood Ridge if they uh, waste on my Caracas.
Might get stifled, but. Hard cast days. I'll pay for days. One monkey hit does not really matter. Sure. I don't even play it. Okay, so their hand is Volk, Volk Ragavan. Um. I just play Creator Maker. It's gonna be tricky to play this game because they like definitely have cards stuck in hand, so it's gonna be hard to to read what they have. Got to be very wary of Fury though, so don't want to commit too much to the board. Let's take it slow. Actually, the most certainly a Fury hand, because that's why they didn't dash the Ragavan that one turn. Oh, well, I don't. I didn't do that. I'm just waiting for them to bolt this, and then I'll play the Wanderer. We're flooding. Ooh, that's a big, it's a big hit. Let's get these fetch lands out of here. And I kind of want a wasteland, the fetch. They have a second force that could die. I mean, the ley line was good, but. Uh. 
I mean, we we flooded pretty badly. No flip. Flip to a third force of will. Come on now. We died this delver. Gonna be molding. Might not have a blue card. Okay. Now we're just racing pretty easily. Hmm. Annoying. Oh. This is tricky. They have a third bolt. So I take take one last, or I take two last. I deal one to them. They go down to five. Expert becomes a, a live draw if I keep my Pashlik in play. The problem is, as far as Stifle goes, like, I want to be able to activate Pashlik and block Ragavan next turn, so, and that just loses to Stifle, so. If I draw Mogwar Marshall, I'll be really punished, but. Yeah, War Marshall, I can still race. Nice. Glad I'm joining the matron. Um, okay, so we know that they have a force of will non blue card. Force of will non blue card, so I should just get expert right now because they would have forced otherwise. All right. Get bolt. Okay, so the last card is force. So they did have the bolt. Okay. Really good draw. And they haven't drawn any cantrips so far, which is part of why I think the ley lines didn't get so good, because they didn't get a chance to cast a brainstorm ever. I just didn't draw a brainstorm or a ponder.
Please don't be Ragavan. All right. Uh, I have to force this. Okay. I kind of have to force this. Did I have... I guess I could have popped my own artifact. I did not think about Tarmogoyf. Oh my god, Soul Guide's so much worse. <laughs> so much worse than uh, Relic. Catastrophically worse. <sighs> this is game three. I'm probably going to lose to this Clothis. Like, this card's utterly unplayable in current era, but, you know. This, card's, this card was only good because of... Um, fucking... It, it, prismatic ending makes it redundant. Yeah, man, if all graveyards could be popped. Still got Sling Gang, got one ringleader. War Chief, Lethal, Ragavan. I mean, they have a forcible in hand. Sliss. I guess for I guess Reb is not bad because I can blast um, the thing that they force. I'm gonna be really really sad if I lose because the Soul Guide fucking sucks. <laughs> War Chief. I'm actually going to lose this game.
can't I can't let them brainstorm. Maybe I have. Oh, no, they're gonna force anyway. That's fine. Force pitch. They drew four forcibles. War chief still good. Unless you fucking drew Armagoyf. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's a joke. This is a joke. Sling gang, come on. This. Draw our mill spell. I drew a fucking monkey. Oh my god, such bullshit. <laughs> such bullshit. Alright. Slink Gang actually isn't good enough anymore. They're at four. I think I lose. Yeah, cool. We drew 5,000 lands. We, we drew so many lands, it's obscene. But also we lost to fucking Clothis. I mean, we lost because our soul guide is a soul guide and not a relic or a lantern of the lost. I hate soul guides so much. I think it, I think it is so bad. Like, oh my god, just easily win if our graveyard's empty. Timer Goyf wouldn't have. It just blocks. It just chump blocks the pile driver and dies. That's so fucking frustrating, man. Relic originally, yeah. They're playing End of Festivities and Fury. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And <laughs> Clothis. It's Armagoyf. It's kind of nonsense way to build. <laughs> Clothis is just not a card that should be in your deck. Every... Every deck with white plays four prismatic ending. How would you justify Clothis? Malding. We're playing a meme deck and a malding. Fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, we still have not done the thing. That's that's the worst part. Still have not done the thing. <sighs> Ignoble is good in food chain. Um, good in food chain goblins. Not very good outside of that, I think. Line. All right, have we lost every die roll? I think we've lost every die roll. All right. Yeah, food chain, food chain goblets is pretty fun. Man, I am so fucking sad we lost that. I mean, ley lines were good, but like if we had one less of them, <laughs> we would have won. We just needed literally one more card to close that game. Just any spell, basically. Got either vial. 
And the Leyline was good, but only because they drew two Brainstorms and then they just pick, pitched their Merc Tides to Force of Will, so they got a use out of them. I think that's actually probably why... It's like Brainstorm and Force of Will make stranding cards in hand impossible, right? It's just like there's always a way to convert the cards. Which is kind of bullshit, which is why Brainstorm is just the dumbest card. <laughs> but, you know. Stage pass, huh? I think I just want to play Lackey here. Maybe they merit lage me, but it's kind of difficult. I mean, if they have like double mocks or something. I'm about to get prismatic ending. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, and Vox. Pictures of Saga. Play the bloom. Fuck me, dude. No, it's it's green. It's it's lands. I also really I'm 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 increasingly a prismatic ending hater. I just kind of think the cards shouldn't have been printed at all. Like it's really egregious. All right, we're super dead. Cool. None of my choices matter. Yeah, I R and D's like literally on crack for thinking the prismatic ending <laughs> could be a. Uh... an instant and be allowed to exist. These wastelands are so bad, but it's just like... If I don't do there, they can rotate off of the Reclaimer. Rakdos Charm would be a good draw. We'd let on Vile. Oh, that is play Reclaimer. It's whatever. Uh, we only have Blood Moons in the sideboard. This, this matchup's going to be bad. Yes, Kiki Jiki, just what I needed. Adepts. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I I mean this this Kiki should not be in this deck. Let's let's be clear. This is not a properly this is an idea. This, this deck is an idea.
keep all the charms in, I guess. Actually, I don't even know if I want Leyline if I'm bored. If I have three charms plus Soul Guide Lantern, it's like too much graveyard hate. I guess the charms might be taxed in other ways because they might want to go after different things. But I don't think I super need Leyline. Gemstone Cavern has not come up once now. In fact, it's been... Well, we just haven't drawn it outside of that one game versus Delver. Sounds what you call speculative. Don't kill my fucking prospector, god damn it. It's my only one. <laughs> Baga Mox. Uh Yeah, Ridge hasn't actually been as bad as I thought it would be. Meltork with Welder and Threat Effects. I, I like that idea. That sounds like fun. One, two, three, four... So mana short here. If we had to kill the construct. Opera, fuck. Bizarre trader claimed the firstborn? Hmm. All right, land lets us mux us. I think we're getting tabernacled. So War Marshal. It's probably expedition map. No, they don't have enough mana for map. They'll probably get Needle. Like, they can't map plus activate. Good line, Jax. Good line. That's pretty good. Master the deck already. Okay. Um, I do want to keep up my wasteland. I'm second these two, I think. Pretty shit, Muxus.
Not in a terrible spot here, though. <laughs> yeah, we might just have to spin the wheel again. So their hand is these three lands. That's a. I guess they know their stuff is about to die. Mm -hmm. Probably just dead now. Keep this one here. Eeky. I should have sacked it to that's whatever. Okay. Um okay. Blow that up. Okay. Jump some cavern back in. I guess ley line's better on the draw, like more important on the draw. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's something. Can we finally get the gemstone cavern thing? I would really like some gemstone cavern action against lands. It's just like the recursion of the Urza saga is kind of annoying, but it is very slow. I, I, I just don't think I need more graveyard hate. Uh, ringleader out? I don't know, you kind of want a ringleader around. But we just don't have the other all the option. I could cut a twerk, but it's a little dangerous, I think. Goblin Shepherd win. Hmm. Hands really slow. Turn Vile, turn two Torque. No wastelands. One kept seven, three drop, six drop. Okay. We've not done the Rakdos charm thing. It's very depressing. Oh no, I'm gonna get turn two laged, aren't I? And feel it. No? Okay. Towards the pleasures, sure. Uh. I should just waste the saga. I kind of wish I could waste the stage, but. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. That's good.
So their hand is Trop Saga, two unknowns. This is this is close. Um, if I play the Wasteland, I have protection against Merit Lage. If I play the Pile Driver, I have lethal next turn. I think I play the Wasteland because yeah, the fact that they play the Yavamaya makes me think that they're going for a Lage. We can go to 21, but then the pile driver gets blocked by the Merit Age. That's what I care about. That's. That's really bad. Struck Rockus. No attack, huh? Oh, wow. Really punished. Really punished for attacking. Oh, man. Shit. Oh, God. I just punted so bad attacking last turn. I was thinking I, would go I had to sack something anyway, but... And it costs pile driver two damage as well. Fuck. <sighs> yeah, that was really bad. Out of lethal, right? It's swing with everything except the sling gang. It's two, four, six, seven off the pile driver, eight, nine, ten damage. They block the pile driver, I put in the moxes. Okay, bad loam. Okay, so we can draw a removal spell here. That doesn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, I punted that.
It's not an obvious punt. Oh, wow, Rectus Charm would have won the game. Close games all around. Close games all around. Uh, yeah. It's a fun idea. We never got to do the thing. We came very close to doing the thing, but we didn't get to do the thing. That's kind of, it kind of makes it feel really bad. Um, we lost to fucking Clothis, which is still making me mad. Um... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think this this deck could be improved. Let's cut this Kiki Jiki. Um, Kiki Jiki was really bad. We never saw the Gemstone Cavern thing. I get what he's going for, but I I just think this card's not playable. I think this deck needs a swamp. And like, Taiga, yeah. Or maybe Ancient Tomb. I like Ancient Tomb right now. The Torque. Yeah, yeah. It actually, it's like insane how punished we were for Soul Guide over Relic. Or I guess uh, I like I like Lantern of the Lost better. Uh, the Torques actually weren't bad, just as like Anna Rock. Um, Wander wasn't bad either. I'd kind of like if we ditch. If we ditch the the charm nonsense. Play like three wanders. Um, I don't know if actually don't no, I don't I don't currently think vandal is necessary. Um. Also, only having one sling gang is just like lit. Crater Maker's not very good right now. We saw, I think, the game three against Delver really showed how extremely mediocre uh, Crater Maker is um, against Delver, whereas it used to be good. Where it's just like so painful right now, I think. Don't want to play too many of them. I guess Creative Maker's good with Wanderer, though. Oh, yeah. Shadow Blood. Yeah, I, I'd be a little worried about him getting stuck, for sure. But I like the idea with... um. Like good with Prospect or War Marshal. Uh, what land do I want here?
Could play some ports. I think Cradle's gonna be good though. And main deck Krakus, potentially. Yeah, Wander definitely seemed at least vaguely playable. Yeah, we did not put together Magical Christmas. I mean, if we wanted to do Magical Christmas Land, you should have given me a list with four Rakdos Charm for uh, Muxus, right? So you set yourself up for that a little bit. Muxes can't come off of Muxes. I get what you mean, man. I totally get why that's like very frustrating. <laughs> as far as deck construction goes, yeah, maybe jump try something like this. Um, which is kind of similar. I, I this is this is this is interesting. The fact that this was good. Two drop attacks through endurance. Not that many ice fangs or baffle strixes right now. Kind of cool. Doesn't die to gut shot or end the festivities or any of that. Like bolt, plow, ending. But I mean, it kind of dodges ending because that's flash, right? I didn't quite realize that it's cast a spell if a creature died this turn doesn't doesn't have to be your creature. Um which makes it really good with the removal package. Hmm. I don't think I want to... Oh yeah, Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Blood Moon's very good right now. That's what the sideboard was missing. I kept looking at it. I was like, what what do we what do we not have here that I want? It's Blood Moon. Um Okay, and then we put the Krakus in the main. Yeah. And the cut for that is Probably the third court marshal. Could play ports over the tombs, but I think tomb is just better than port right now. There's not enough games where you're porting people. It's like Blood Moon worth playing if it's not from the dark. Hmm. Alright, well, thanks folks for watching. Um I'm gonna call it a day there. Uh people on YouTube. Thanks for watching this first iteration, this new series. There will be more of these next next Friday, probably. I'll have the next one. Um, yeah. Uh, so we beat Stoneblade, beat Death and Taxes, and then lost three really close ones. Um, I think I could have gotten the win against Lance. I just needed to not attack with the Lackey. I just attack with the two tokens. Attack with the two tokens, deal them one, drain them for one, go to 21. And then the Muxus draw becomes live. Yeah, we also flooded really badly. But, I mean, that deck doesn't have flood insulation, right? Which is part of why deck construction matters. Um, like, when you don't have more than one ringleader, the only flood protection you have and you cut your Muxus, the only flood protection you have is Matron. Right? You don't and you don't port to do stuff. Port would have been pretty cracked against that rug delver opponent, right? They just like would never cast anything. They would just port a Taiga the whole game. The Goyf would never come down and the uh Clothis never comes down.
Poor plan should be insul- uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Not sure what that would actually involve, though. Are we in love with this list? It's just, like, it's such a fun idea. And I'm just, I'm like, I'm legit sad that we never got- We got to back to Storm of Batter Skull. That's cool. Um, but we never got to do this thing, which is a bummer. Maybe I'll try it again someday, just for the meme. But I do like the idea of Grim Wanderer. So just to say, the thing I've been doing I had two four ones with this, once with a Grenzo, once with a sharpshooter. Didn't draw the sharpshooter, so it's kind of non existent. But the idea being that sharpshooter is good with three war chiefs and two ancient tombs in your deck. Um I don't know if I feel comfortable playing Wander in this list. How many black sources do I have? 13? Not bad. Yeah, 13's not bad. Could cut the sharpshooter for a wanderer. It's kind of a weird one of, though. Sharpshooter, third pile driver. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to test it a little bit more. Oh god, my poor rating. Oh, okay, don't I? We only dropped 20 points. Not that it, not that it matters at all, but just number go up, number go down. Wow. Yeah, Shadowblood Ridge was surprisingly not terrible. Mostly, I, I think it aired on the side of not terrible because we flooded out a lot, <laughs> right? But it, the fact... It, we did, we didn't do the Ractus Trump Carbo, but we did get to do Torque off of Shadow Blood cast a red black spell at least once. Um, so that's cool. That's kind of cool. It it did really burn us that one game where we didn't have red red on turn two. It was like Lackey. We wanted to play double Lackey, and I had to go Lackey Wasteland. It was about the game where they like died to the wasteland, so maybe it's just fine. But like that's that's variance. Uh okay, sure, 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 sure. Like how many red sources does that like normal red sources does that deck have? I just messed with it, so I don't remember, but um Oh, cut the tiger. Sorry. No, it's five fetches, three badlands. There was no swamp. Oh, the gemstone caverns. Right. Okay, so let's pretend these two swamps are gemstone caverns. And if Shadow Blood is a colorless source. It actually is no, it's it's above average on colorless sources. If, if Shadow Bludge is a color a colorless as far as casting two one drops on turn two. That's not quite accurate. I fucking love this swamp. I love the unstable swamp. Alright. That's it. I, I I've been talking about this meme deck too much, taking it too seriously. Uh we did have some sweet games. Um Thank you, Olaf, for signing up for the Patreon and donate, uh, donating this deck list, submitting this deck list. Um, if you want to see your deck list on the stream, you should check out the Patreon. You get the cyborg guide. It's like 50 pages long. It's, it's a lot of info about goblins. Uh, you get my articles, which I'll go back for about two years. Um, and you can submit on your list for this and given that not too many people are submitting yet um you got a pretty good shot of being on the stream that way so uh check that out uh link is in the description of both the youtube video if you're watching youtube and of the stream description all right uh let's raid i believe on our streaming he is thanks tony Thanks for stopping by.